Welcome everyone. I wanted to do a very short video of how you migrate a MySQL on-prem database to AWS RDS. And probably when somebody mentions database migration, you think about AWS database migration services and you come to this page I'm showing to you right now. And then you go to pricing, you figure out it's pretty cheap. You then also find out that it has this cool um, schema conversion. So if, for instance, you are moving from Oracle to Aurora and so on, which is um, totally cool. And then you're like, yeah, I want to use it. So let's get started. And obviously you need an AWS account and then you need to check the documentation, right? And that's pretty much all you need. You need the source database, which in my case is on-prem. You need a target database, which obviously it's on AWS. They want to help you out with on-prem to on-prem migrations. And then AWS um, data, database migration services basically works by defining this task in which you have a source endpoint and a target endpoint. Well, why I'm showing you this? Because if you go to the endpoint configuration and you check sources for data migration, which is this tab I have here open, you will see that MySQL latest version is obviously compatible, but there is something pretty interesting that it says that though for heterogeneous migrations, this tool is like always almost the best for homogeneous migrations, you may use native tools that can be more effective. And they talk about like MySQL dump. So basically dumping your database as you would for like a backup, but to copy it to the cloud, right? So you're like, uh-huh. <laughs> so then you don't want me to use AWS database migration system. So what do you need to know? I'm going to assume that you have already done this thing here. So I'm going to assume that you have already defined in RDS your database. If not, um, you basically go to services RDS and you do create database. Two things are important. So let me show you the one I have already defined. The first one is that um, you allow publish accessibility, which you will find in like security section, because otherwise you're not going to be able to connect from um, from your computer, which is in which is not in AWS VPC to this database, right? And the second one is that you configure the security group. So I created a new security group, which by default, you know allows outbound, outbound rules will allow you egress access from all ports, but in the rules, you will need to change that to allow in this port range, which is like MySQL range. And I put here any IP you could, if it wasn't a tutorial, you would put your computer's IP only, right? Just kind of, so yeah, basically I'm going to assume that you already have your RDS defined and that you know how to connect to it and super quick if you don't to connect from my sql sql workbench the only thing you need to check are the connection details which is you know this endpoint like if it were on your computer it would be localhost but you're not on your computer you're in the cloud so it's this endpoint and this port right and then you will connect so here it's what i have done that's the connection to MySQL RDS, which now has no schema, no table, no view, nothing, right? It's totally empty. And that's my local instance in which I have a schema called SQL Murder Mystery. And that's actually, I'll put the link in the video, a very fun game to learn SQL. So um, kudos to like the people who developed this game. I loved it this weekend. Um, okay, so you see it has nine tables and I want to migrate them all to the cloud. So how do I do it? I go to administration, I go to data export, I'm going to create this dump, I select a schema, I export to a self-contained file, I'm going to overwrite uh, one of the files I already have here. So let's overwrite this SQL murder mystery um, file. Yes, I don't care. And I'm going to include create schema because otherwise you will have to create a new schema in the target database. So I'm going to do it in, in advance so that when I migrate, uh, it appears the SQL murder mystery schema in the target database. And now I'm just going to click start export. And yeah, I'm going to overwrite. Awesome. Nine of nine tables exported, no errors, fantastic. So now I'm doing database connect and I'm going to connect to this other database. And if before I did export, now I'm going to do import. And obviously I'm selecting my file, which I have here. 
Awesome. Um, I don't need to care about this because it says note, this is only used if the damn file doesn't contain a schema and ours does, right? Otherwise it's ignored. So we are good to go. And I can just do a start import. And it's gonna take a couple seconds, but bear with me. <sighs> Done. Good. So now if we go with schemas, we see nothing, we refresh and boom, that's our database with the nine tables. And I can prove the data is in there by showing you, for instance, the crime scene reports. So let's take a look at that and boom. So yeah, that was pretty much it. That's how you migrate a MySQL on-prem database to the AWS cloud in no time. Thanks for watching.